<laughs> Where are you? Main Junction. All right, folks, that is Main Junction. Um, Willard Gap, elevation 2250. Today is May 1st. It's like 708, 709? I don't know. Hold on. 710, exactly. It is 710, exactly. And we are at the terminus of the eastern terminus of the NCT, North Country Trail. Um, it's supposed to be spring. I don't... The forecast called for like 24 degrees Celsius today. Yeah, it called for sun today. It is freezing cold. Well, no, um, it's not that cold. It just snowed. I can't feel my hands and feet. It's fucking wet though. It's very wet. So yesterday we walked down there about 0.4 to the shelter, um, Tucker Johnson. And we got there at like 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. And we're just shelter dwellers all day because it literally rained from 8 a.m. until 2 a.m. Two or three in the morning. And then it started snowing. Yeah, just nonstop. Nonstop. Um, would have sucked to walk through. This is going to be cold, but it's not coming down on us, so it's acceptable. And it's supposed to warm up at some point today, although the clouds yeah. don't seem promising. Yeah, so <laughs> it's May 1st, folks. What is May um it's just a winter wonderland so i haven't had a summer in years i know back in my day there used to actually be summer um so i'm gonna turn on this gps fancy thing here in a second um and then y'all can follow along with the gps track because we are going for the speed record so we'll be tracking it the entire way today we got about a 25 miler um where we have to camp before we hit the road yeah we have to camp before we hit the road towards middlebury so we'll camp on the long trail again today. Um, can't feel the hands at all. Um, so I'm gonna, go I'm gonna stop talking, start the Garmin, and we're gonna start cruising. 11th National Scenic Trail, baby. She's a big one. You ready? Yeah. She's ready. All right, Main Junction, let's get it. Well, folks, the first interval has been sent via the Garmin, so. It was sent at Main Junction, and now we begin. All right, we're gonna take a quick pit stop at the shelter. Maybe layer up a little bit better because it's a little chilly. Um, so, yeah, 0.4 um, official miles into the trail. We're going to take a quick break, grab some water, maybe grab some coffee. I don't know what this Garmin thing, if I turn it off and on. I think at lunch breaks, if we do like a 30 to hour long lunch break, I turn it off um, and then just pick it up right when we leave. Or I just keep it on all day. I'm leaning towards just keeping it on all day. You'll probably see double ping sometimes when we take breaks, but yeah, that's what it's about. This is Tucker Shelter, where we called home for the night last night. All right, Tucker Johnson Shelter. We're continuing onwards. We stopped, got our socks all situated, cold extremities all situated, um, and we're continuing on. So it's going to be wet today. We got about 25, it's not even eight o'clock. Um, so no rush. We stop when we want to stop, go when we want to go. Um, it's not our crushing pace today, which is okay. And that's what we talked about in our beginning videos is letting us be okay with breaking into trail. Um, I've had about two weeks off the trail. This is Magpie's first trail of the year. So we need to give ourselves the time to go slowly listen to the body give it what it needs because we got 4,600 miles ahead of us this is bigger than it was yesterday It's a winter wonderland. I didn't say that. Okay, Vermont. It's cold and you sucked off my shoe. 
I gotta put that back on because my foot's an icicle. That's some sticky mud. Yeah, gotta put that back on. So I think this is gonna be a lot of today. Um, if it's not really deep mud, it's gonna be the trail is a crick. Um, because yeah, it has been, like I said, raining nonstop for well over 12 hours. I think it was like 15 hours or more of consistent rain. So it's gonna be very well saturated, very well saturated, but still nice. Still very pleasant. It is a winter wonderland. Oh, it feels so nice to be hiking. The farts that I have in the back, there's nowhere for them to go. Yeah, Did... I'm grateful for that too. Hello. <laughs> Are you grateful for that as well? Yeah. Good. It is very pretty. It's warmer. Snow is pretty. Snow is pretty, folks. It's just sometimes a little rougher, but it's getting really nice. It's about eight o'clock, a little after. Um, I think the Garmin has sent two pings or three pings at this point. So, yeah, this is fun. This is Send it. The day you started the CDT. Oh. This reminds you of Colorado? All right, we're right on the verge of uh, getting out of the puppies, but as we get a little higher, the wind picks up a little more, so maybe not. Um, but this is very northeast-ish that you pass the dirt road every two or three miles. I don't know if we've gone three miles yet. We might have gone three miles. And the trail continues across. You took the gloves off? Yeah, that's a preemptive glove off. You blazing? What you blazing about? Yep, I bet it just follows the two track. Wow, that valley was really something. Once you get out of that valley, it's actually open. And, and the weather's changing too. All right, folks, I would've gotten you a better shot of Magpie going up those rocks, but struggles of filming on this camera. Sometimes the touch screen doesn't recognize you're trying to touch it, but I'm gonna go up the rocks instead. So you can watch me go up the rocks. Not as fun, not as cool, but I go up. Up we go, up we go. And you get to hear me sing as we go. Okay. Right on the knee. Mm. All right, here's the Rolston shelter. About three miles from the shelter we were at last night. But again, we went back, touched the border. So yeah, it's been about three, maybe four miles. Um, starting to get toasty. Sun's starting to come out. Pop out of the puffy, sign the log. We're almost in a sub 20 day, folks. Pretty cool. So. I think the long trail goes that way, if I'm correct. Yes, this mm, this camera too, I can't zoom out. Oh well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wet feet.
help the tree get some snow off its limbs. All right, so we think we're at the top of the climb out of the shelter. Um, you could always check our maps, but we'd rather just kind of bounce around. We got a play, playful day today, so no reason to try to grab that type of mentality. It's like, go, go, go. Um, but Magpie decided to call me a mouth breather up that mountain. Um, wow, she's not even denying it. Whew, that's rough. She still, with the entire explanation, did not say, No, Constantine, you're not a mouth breather. You told me you were breathing through your mouth. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna. It's gonna be one of those, huh? <laughs> she, she just won't give us what we want. Saying a nice. Oh, thank you. It doesn't feel real, but thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Just the cuddle feeling. But yeah, we're on top of a climb, a climb, the climb, don't know. Looks like there's some more. Um, but yeah, we're in snowpack, but it's pretty easy to follow the trail. It's not bouncing around like you can't see where you need to go. So pretty cruisy. Cruisy, cruisy. Oh, the sun tees. I'm a nose breather. All right, tippity toppity, hoppity floppity, bippity boppity. It's still chilly. Nippity noppity, it is nippity noppity. Um, still chilly, so we still got the puffies on. But got one of the climbs done for the day. Not that big of a climb, just kind of cruising on up. It's pretty gentle for Yeah. Now we cruise on down, and then we cruise on back up. Y'all hiked out east or know about the out east hiking. It's ups and downs, so we're going to keep on going. That is a big rock. Ooh. Hefty. We pack it out. I don't think we can collect that rock. It's got a tree on it. Oh, okay. Maybe the next rock we the find. Winter in front of me. Oh, I see a big rock in front of me, and I see a cute magpie in front of me. What view do you see? Oh, nice. I'm glad we're tucked into this winter wonderland side of the ridge, though. Oh. Yeah. So, the first day on trail, um, I'm not going to really point out water sources or exact mileage of shelters and stuff like that because it's the long trail that we coincide with for the first day. So, there's so much information around that that you'll be able to see. Yeah, yeah, and water in the Northeast Long Trail, it's everywhere. As well as, yeah, there's so much guidebooks, um, map systems. Yeah, there's not a lot of twists and turns. So the first day, I'm not as in depth with exact mileage markers, but as we continue on and the routes are just the North Country Trail, which there's not a lot of information on, I'll get exact mileage markers of water, Cool stuff, break spots, whatever it may be. Ooh, I like that. This is pretty. So, yeah, a lot of today is just going to be filming cool stuff and whatever, oop, whatever might pop into the weird mind that you might hear. Any weirdness so far today, Diddles? Just a little bit. We decided that we're NBA players. <laughs> she said just a little bit. Yeah, we decided we're NBA players. We're dribbling a basketball down the trail. <laughs> I bet she could palm it better than I could. Ugh. Not fair. No, it's still a little nip noppy. So, this lake, you can see we were we climbed that, came around, ridge ran, ridge ran, ridge ran, dropped down. Now we're back here. Pretty cool section of the trail. Don't know what mile, don't know where. But that is okay because the long trail just brings you closer. Um, we're going a mile 130 and some change on the long trail today. And we started at like 104, 105 and some change. Um, 
so yeah 24 25 miles so there's really no point in stressing over exact mileage like i said if we were filming the remote parts that there's not a lot of film on or information of the north country trail we would let you know exact mileage but we're on the long trail baby america's oldest trail wait yeah america's oldest trail it's either that or the at i think it's the long trail actually long distance trail okay we cruise Trails that give us arrows. Oh, right? too easy. Oh, yeah, put a puffy on for the break. Yeah. Hi, folks. First break spot of the trail. We are at mile like 114 ish. Um, haven't done 114 miles. Mile 114 ish on the um, long trail. So, got about 10 or 11 miles today. Um, a little before noon. We're and, yeah, that means we got about 15, 16 more miles left on the day. Super cruisy, just going going and cruising. Um, I don't know if I'm going to ever turn the Garmin off because it's pinging every 30 minutes. So even if we take a 30-minute lunch break, you might just see a dot twice in the same place. Um, I'm going to probably just keep it on at all the times because instead of me forgetting to turn it back on, I'm going to just keep it on at all times. But pretty awesome. This is the best view spot we've had so far. We've been able to see it pretty co cool through the trees, but... Best few spots so far, and we're gonna take some lunch. How you feeling, Magpie? Pretty hungry. I'm she's ready to eat. she's hungry. Good day. As it started to warm up, it's gotten a lot more pleasant. Yes. This is the best view so far for sure. Yeah. Really nice. Beautiful. That ridge makes it look like there's not a lot of snow here. There's a lot of snow. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's quite snowy. Yeah. Oh, thick chunks. So it goes back and forth between, I mean, it's always winter, but it goes between heavy snow patches and less heavy. Like, don't hit this because it is going to rain on your parade. Oh, got to do the limbo. Oh, how did... Okay, okay, little hole. Hit the gap, hit the gap. Oh, did not hit it well. And now I got snow on me. Good first day. Really good first day so far. About halfway through. 13 more miles-ish. We'll see. Another pretty stellar view. Is that the accent? Oh, I like that accent. All right. It only took five minutes to get to this video clip because my phone case sucks. I was gonna say I always ride safely. So it took me five minutes to get- longer to fucking get the video working than it took you to make a dick joke. <laughs> That's why we were standing there in the wind, was for that dick joke. Uh-huh. Well, they didn't know it was a dick joke, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> and see, I was just talking about how much I love you. Uh-huh. Well, I was making a joke about ATVs. I was I was talking about ATV riding. Alright. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I love you. So yeah, it took about five minutes to get that video clip and you guys are welcome. Um I know you really wanted to hear that commentary. Um it is, uh, quarter after one. Uh-huh. Yes, we are out of the puffies. And as you can see, it is raining, melting snow on us. 
which is actually warm though, so it's not bad. Yeah, the furnaces are melting. Yeah, we got about 13, 13 and a half, 14, somewhere in there to the shelter. A little after one, probably get in there around seven, eight-ish. So it'll be a good day. You need a new phone case. I do need a new phone case. Magpie, do you ride safely? Always. Okay, just wanted to check. Safety first, folks. Safety first. I can't stop the video now. <laughs> of course you can't stop the video now. Baby. Have you stopped filming? No, it won't stop. Are you able to stop filming? No, you can try. I've got dry hands. Oh, cute. All right, long trail. Sunrise shelter, 6.3. Base of the climb, 7.2. That's about it, guys. All right? Yeah, let's go. Where you go? Ralston? Is that where we stayed? No. Okay, we've done 12.7. Okay. Where you go? So I think, not positive, but I think we climbed that big one in front of us. I would assume so. We've been kind of bouncing around it, getting closer to it on the trail. I don't see a steep, steep climb on the elevation profile until after Brandon Gap. But been bam ba ba bamboozled, bamboozled. I got the boozled. I've been boozled before, so most likely we're gonna just climb the shoulder. I don't think we're going to the top of that. But then after Brandon, we go, go, go. Beautiful day. It has turned out to be absolutely beautiful. Freezing cold this morning. Um, this morning had both of us very much worried. Um, this is a different way to film, huh? Very, very much worried because of how cold all of our extremities were. It felt very reminiscent of the GDT. And um, yeah, <laughs> was not looking forward to that start of the NCT. So instead, it's been actually really pleasant as the day continues to progress. Um, you get cold snaps and that sun goes away, but for the most part, very, very pleasant. Oh, there we go. We go. Slippery. Really, really, really slippery. Oh, yes. My fingers, my fingers quick on the trigger. I got a two minute or three, well, two or three second video. Now I got a five or six second video. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Sometimes, all of a sudden, you find a bridge. Um, we're about five miles to Brandon Gap, which is uh, the bottom spot before our last climb of the day. And the trail that they put you on up here, we're kind of just bouncing, ooh, bouncing along. Um, they put it really tight along the ridge because, yeah, there's not many places to build this trail. So we're just kind of bouncing. A little wet, a little rocky, a little rooty, a little out east hiking for you. A um, little bit of snow. So we're cruising. Um, got about 10 and a half miles to the shelter. And... Give me one second. One second, folks. And it's about a little after three, like 3.05. So I'm probably getting there around eight. Uh, not going super fast. Just there's, it's wet, slippery. Um, we aren't trying to crush crush today. We got four or five months of crushing. So today we're just breaking into trail. It was cold. We've been going, uh, uh, we've been taking breaks. We've just been enjoying ourselves. We're on vacation. The, the test starts once we get broken in. So yeah, 10 and some change. Um, I did know, notice, I logged into the GPS tracker and I did notice that my intervals are set at 30 minutes. Um, that might be too big of an interval because for some twists and turns along the trail, um, the GPS route looks like it got, it pulls a straight line, which unless you're bushwhacking these mountains, you're not doing. so. 
Might have to set the interval to more frequently, but besides that, um, not, a, not a worry in the world. We're going. Slippery bridge? Should I run? <laughs> it's like ice skating. Don't do it, folks. Don't do it. That's how you bust ass right there. That's slippery wood. Scusi? We are at Bloodroot Gap. It looks like there's a privy. Where? Where? Right behind you. Oh, of course. Don't know. Oh. Some people Gun hands. Yeah, gunshots. Um, oh, there's a little thermometer. It's probably getting toasty right now. It is 40 degrees. Wow, it's only 40 degrees? Huh. That's like what, eight degrees Celsius? Um, it is five degrees Celsius. I guess it's in the shade too, it's warmer in the sun. Yeah. Okay, so we're bouncing along here. We're gonna start dropping here shortly. And yeah, we cruisy cruising. Cruisy cruisy in. Um, phone is out of the case because my case super sucks, super sucks. Um, as you can see, I couldn't say super sucks because the case was in the mouth. And when I was trying to say super sucks, I just mumbled. Um, I guess I'm the mumbler today. I guess I'm mostly the stumbler today. Okay, Magpie's the stumbler today. She's had two good ones. I've had one close to a split. Her whole butt is wet, she said. So yeah, she's the, she's the stumbler today. I'll be the mumbler every day. Yeah. Well, well, we'll see each day. So we're going on down the trail. It's wet, super wet. I hope I filmed enough of how freakish the trail is. But again, if y'all have hiked out in the Northeast after a lot of rain, it's wet. you know, <laughs> it is wet. Wet but pleasant. So the three or four miles towards Brandon Gap, um, it seems like it's a very mellow down and there's snow patches, there's blow downs, but the trail itself is pretty mellowy down. There's still some stuff we have to navigate around as you see Magpie doing right now. That one's a real Yeah, that, that's a hard one. It's fresh, it's get last so fresh and so clean. Should I run? I run. Oh, yeah, that's slippery. We're good. It said pasta. I think we're hungry. I would like if it said pasta too. Pasta! What does it stand for? Rochester Area Sports Trail Alliance. Very, very nice. It's too good to be true. Yeah. This can't be the trail. Oh, look, there's snow on it. Oh, slip and slide. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty. Careful now. All right, so not one, but two doors have been ripped off this privy. Um, I'm hoping it was trail maintainers that said that door doesn't work and then the other door doesn't work. And I'm hoping it's not a bear because that would be no bueno. 
but two doors have been ripped off that privy. But that's how I like to do my business in the open air. Um, I was the first person to use this privy in a long time because it's been cold and it's been wet for the past two weeks in Vermont since we've been here. So not a lot of people have been hiking this area. But yeah, two doors have been ripped off. Not one, two. Um, so we are at Sunrise Shelter, mile 124.4 on the long trail. Um, main junction, I think, was 105.5. So we've done right underneath 19. I think it's like 18.9. Um, we're not going to count that as a, uh, but we did 0.4 to get to the main junction. So we've walked over 19, but we won't count that because it's not official miles. So official miles we've done today, 18.9. And um, we're going to call it. We're going to call it for the first day. The shelter we were going to go to was in another five. Um, it, we got a big climb out of Brandon Gap um, up into these cliffs. We got here at like 4.40. Um, no, you're, you're like right at five. It was five na when I went to get the water. No, it was 10 after five. Oh, okay. So we got here five-ish. Um, so, yeah. yeah, so we were going to push to the shelter, but first day on trail, we got thousands of miles ahead of us. And like I've been saying to Constantine, like I'm physically capable of doing that extra five, but considering that we can't camp anywhere past Middlebury and we're going to be in Middlebury tomorrow night anyway it just feels better to make our bigger day the day into town as opposed to like doing a bigger day today camping with all our wet stuff and then doing like 23 miles into town yeah so we're both breaking into trail um as we touched on in our Q&A videos there's no reason to kill ourselves when we got five months and it's actually not the smart thing to do that's the hardest part about this trail is finding that mentality of being okay with that. And we're okay with it right now. Yeah, I'm it's, okay with doing a little bit less. It's cold. We would be on top of that climb as that sun was setting. And it'd be windy as fuck. It's been cold all day. Um, you can still see snow patches down here. But as you saw with all the video today, we've been walking through snow all day. And yeah, it's a good first day. We got sub 20. But... It's going to be a pleasant night. We're going to cook up some food. Tomorrow, what Magpie was touching on is getting to Crown Point, the campground we originally planned on. It's not open. And there's not campsites along the road walk towards there. So more likely than not, our second night, just like the Potomac, going to have to stay in a Modi Hody. And probably be in Middlebury. So we got about, about a 30 year 10 miles of trail and then 20 miles of road walk tomorrow about ish we'll see with the gps tracker and yeah we're gonna just take it easy and enjoy the rest of the day as the sun sets and yeah good first day first day of the nct baby Woo ha ha cool cool and let's see if this gpx tracker finally pinged my last location i'm gonna do the better about this um so it's set at a 30 minute still hasn't pinged it's set at a 30 minute interval um, and it's supposed to send a point every 30 minutes, but I think I need to do it more frequently than that. So yeah, that's the, that's the gist. Why is it giving me an exclamation point? Okay. I'm going to try to make, make sure this thing gets worked out. Cool. Cool. First day have done about. A quarter of a percent of the NCT. Can't think that way. <laughs> All right.